Welcome to Daily News Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Let's get started. Breaking down North Korea's Hwasong-19 missile, a game-changing threat. North Korea's Hwasong-19 missile is a serious step up in their weapons game. This Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, isn't just big, it's loaded with advanced tech that's got the whole world on edge. Let's break it down. The specs big, bad, and ready to go. This missile is huge, about 25 meters long and weighing over 8 tons. That's not just for show. It can carry a massive warhead or even multiple ones, ready to hit several targets at once. Plus, its wide body, about 2.5 meters across, keeps it super steady during flight making it harder to shoot down. Speed and range off the charts. The Hwasong-19 is in the hypersonic league, flying at speeds of up to Mach 5, yeah that's insanely fast. Its range? A mind-blowing 12,000 kilometers, meaning it can hit pretty much anywhere on the planet, from deep inside the US to Europe or Asia. What really sets it apart is its ability to shoot way up into the atmosphere, then come crashing back down at ridiculous speeds. That makes it almost impossible for defense systems to intercept. Stealth mode and high-tech tricks. This thing isn't just fast, it's sneaky too. The missile is loaded with stealth tech to hide from radar and avoid detection. On top of that, it's got a navigation system that adjusts its flight path mid-air, so it's crazy accurate. Plus it comes with electronic jamming tech to mess with enemy radars, making it even harder to stop. History in the making. North Korea started testing the Hwasong-19 back in 2022. By 2023, they nailed a successful launch, showing off its insane range and accuracy. Now, it's officially part of their arsenal, making their enemies sweat a little more. The Bigger Picture North Korea's Arsenal North Korea isn't new to the missile game. They've got everything from short-range missiles to beasts like the Hwasong-14, Hwasong-15, and now this monster. Estimates suggest their military has over 5,000 missiles and they're not stopping anytime soon. Nukes on deck. The country reportedly has about 50 nuclear warheads with enough material to crank out another 90. They're also working on new types of bombs like hydrogen and electromagnetic bombs to keep their rivals guessing. Why it matters. This missile isn't just a weapon, it's a message. North Korea is flexing its muscles, showing the world it's ready to defend itself against any outside pressure. For them, it's all about deterrence, scaring off potential threats before they even think of stepping in. Zooming out. What this means for the world. This isn't just a North Korea problem, it's a global wake-up call. Countries everywhere are scrambling to figure out how to handle weapons like this. With rising tensions and a growing arms race the stakes are higher than ever. Let's talk. How should the world deal with threats like this? Are we headed for a new era of unchecked nuclear and missile development? This missile isn't just another headline, it's a game changer. Whether it's a wake-up call or just another chapter in the global power struggle, one thing's for sure. The world is watching. A look at the global response. The world's reaction to the Hwasong-19 has been a mix of panic and strategy. Countries like the US, Japan, and South Korea are stepping up their missile defense systems. But, let's be real. Keeping up with tech like this isn't easy. Hypersonic missiles like this one move so fast and unpredictably that even the best defense systems are struggling to keep up. At the same time, talks about arms control and denuclearization are back on the table. But here's the catch. North Korea doesn't seem too interested in playing along. They see their missile program as their golden ticket to survival. No one's messing with them if they've got the firepower to hit back hard. The real deal, why North Korea's pushing this hard. North Korea's all about survival. With sanctions tightening the noose and global pressure mounting, this missile is their way of saying, don't even think about it. Their leadership believes that a strong nuclear and missile arsenal is the only way to keep the country safe from external threats. And let's not forget the political theater. Every time they unveil a new weapon like the Hwasong-19, it's not just about scaring off enemies, it's about boosting their image at home and showing the world they're a force to be reckoned with. 
What does this mean for you and me? For most of us, this feels like something out of a movie, a missile that can strike anywhere anytime and barely leave a trace. But it's more than just news. It's a glimpse into a world where advanced weapons are becoming the new normal. Countries are investing more in tech that can outpace defenses. And that's a scary thought. If this trend keeps up, the balance of power globally could shift in unpredictable ways. Nations that were once seen as minor players are now flexing their technological muscles and the ripple effects could be huge. Final thoughts. The Hwasong-19 isn't just a missile, it's a symbol of how much the world of warfare has changed. It's fast, it's stealthy, and it's terrifyingly capable. North Korea's latest move is a bold reminder that the arms race isn't slowing down, it's speeding up. So, the big question isn't just about stopping North Korea, it's about figuring out how the world moves forward in a time when hypersonic missiles and nuclear threats are part of everyday life. The stakes are high, and the clock's ticking. The Bigger Picture – What This Means for Global Security The Hwasong-19 isn't just a weapon, it's a disruptor in global security dynamics. It shows how far North Korea has come in terms of military tech, and it raises critical questions about how other nations will respond. With hypersonic missiles like this, traditional defense systems, like those relying on intercepting missiles mid-flight, are becoming less effective. This forces a rethink on how global powers approach missile defense. Arms Race 2.0 question mark. We're not just talking about North Korea here. Other countries including China, Russia, and even the United States are already in a heated race to develop hypersonic missile technology. The Hwasong-19 is a loud wake-up call that the next stage of the arms race is already underway, and it's focused on speed, stealth, and unpredictability. This development could lead to increased tensions and less stability. Why? Because when everyone has weapons that are almost impossible to stop, the stakes of any conflict skyrocket. Mistakes or miscalculations could lead to catastrophic consequences. Diplomacy versus Deterrence North Korea's strategy is all about deterrence, making sure no one dares to attack them by showing off their advanced weaponry. But it's also a gamble. Every new test and demonstration ramps up tensions, especially with countries like the US and South Korea. Diplomacy, on the other hand, has hit a wall. Past attempts to bring North Korea to the negotiating table haven't gone far. They see their missile and nuclear programs as non-negotiable, which complicates any hope of easing tensions. However, experts argue that a mix of pressure and incentives might be the only way to avoid a dangerous escalation. The Human Cost Amid all this talk about missiles and military might, it's easy to forget the human side of the story. North Korea is one of the most heavily sanctioned countries in the world. While the government pours resources into weapons development, its people face extreme poverty, food shortages, and limited access to basic necessities. The international community faces a moral dilemma. How do you address the security threat without worsening the humanitarian crisis in North Korea? Sanctions may slow down the country's weapons program, but they also make life even harder for ordinary citizens. Looking ahead, key questions. The Hwasong-19 raises some serious questions for the future of global security. Can missile defense systems catch up? Right now, hypersonic missiles outpace most current defense tech. What innovations will be needed to counteract these threats? How do you deal with North Korea? Is there a path forward through diplomacy? Or will deterrence and containment remain the only options? And what about the arms race? As more countries develop these advanced weapons, is there any hope of controlling the spread, or is it too late? The Hwasong-19 isn't just a military achievement, it's a challenge to the global order. It forces nations to confront the reality of a new arms race and rethink how they approach defense, diplomacy, and stability. The stakes are incredibly high, not just for North Korea and its neighbors, but for everyone. In a world where missiles like this exist, the margin for error shrinks, and the need for smart, cooperative solutions grows. The question now is whether the world can rise to the challenge, or if we're heading for even more dangerous times. While the Hwasong-19 is a global concern, its immediate impact is most felt in the Asia-Pacific region where tensions are already high. Countries like South Korea, Japan and China are watching closely, 
each responding in ways that reflect their unique positions in this geopolitical chess game. South Korea and Japan are arguably in the missile's most immediate crosshairs. Both nations have been boosting their defense budgets and working with the U.S. to strengthen missile defense systems like THAAD, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, and Aegis. However, the sheer speed and stealth of the Hwasong-19 call into question the effectiveness of these defenses. For South Korea, this missile is another reminder of the fragile peace on the peninsula. Military drills and public discussions about preemptive strikes have been ramping up, but these moves risk provoking North Korea further. Similarly, Japan, a close U.S. ally, is walking a tightrope between deterrence and not escalating the situation. China, North Korea's closest ally, faces a delicate situation. On one hand, it provides crucial economic and political support to North Korea, viewing it as a buffer state against U.S. influence in the region. On the other, China has repeatedly called for stability and denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Beijing's challenge is managing its relationship with Pyongyang while not alienating its trade partners or fueling a regional arms race. The Hwasong-19 puts China in a tricky spot. It doesn't want North Korea to overreach and destabilize the region, but it also doesn't want to lose its leverage over the country. The U.S. Countering the Threat For the U.S., the Hwasong-19 is a clear challenge to its military and strategic dominance. North Korea's ability to target American soil with a potentially nuclear-capable missile has added urgency to missile defense research and development. Systems like ground-based mid-course defense or GMD are being updated, but even the most advanced systems face limitations against hypersonic threats. On the diplomatic front, the U.S. is likely to push for more international sanctions and pressure on North Korea, but its leverage is limited without China's cooperation. The Biden administration has also emphasized alliances with South Korea and Japan, but long-term solutions remain elusive. Russia, watching, and waiting. Russia's reaction is more calculated. While it's no fan of a nuclear-armed North Korea, it benefits from any situation that distracts and divides Western powers. Moscow has maintained a cordial relationship with Pyongyang, providing limited economic aid and political backing. However, the Kremlin is also wary of the proliferation of advanced missile tech, especially if it destabilizes regions near its borders. The Future of Warfare the Hwasong-19 highlights a broader trend in military technology, the rise of hypersonic weapons. These missiles are changing the rules of warfare, making traditional concepts of deterrence and defense harder to apply. Unlike traditional ICBMs, hypersonic missiles don't follow predictable trajectories, which means they're much harder to track and intercept. This development raises critical concerns. 1. Arms Control Agreements Existing treaties like START focus on traditional nuclear weapons but don't adequately address hypersonic tech. The international community faces the challenge of crafting new agreements that account for these advances. 2. Proliferation As more countries gain access to hypersonic tech, the risk of an accidental conflict increases. Misunderstandings or false alarms could lead to catastrophic consequences. 3. Cost and Feasibility Developing effective countermeasures is not just a technical challenge, it's an economic one. Many countries simply can't afford to keep up, widening the gap between major powers and smaller nations. What's next? The Hwasong-19 is more than just a missile, it's a turning point. It symbolizes the arrival of a new era in global security, one where speed, stealth, and unpredictability are the name of the game. As nations scramble to adapt, the balance of power is shifting and the risks of miscalculation are growing. Key questions for the future. 1. Can diplomacy catch up? The current approach to handling North Korea hasn't worked. Will new strategies emerge, or are we stuck in a cycle of sanctions and missile tests? 2. What role will China and Russia play? As the world's most influential players besides the US, their actions or inactions could shape the outcome of this crisis. 3. How will technology evolve? Hypersonic missiles are just the beginning. What other advancements could redefine global security in the coming decades? Final Reflection The Hwasong-19 is a stark reminder of the high-stakes world we live in. It's not just about North Korea, it's about how nations deal with new and evolving threats in an increasingly unstable world. As the global community grapples with these challenges, one thing is clear, 
The choices made today will shape the future of international security for generations to come. The Humanitarian and Ethical Dilemmas While the Hwasong-19 is making headlines as a technological marvel and a strategic threat, the human cost of its development is often overlooked. North Korea has funneled vast resources into its weapons programs, even as its population faces chronic shortages of food, medicine, and basic infrastructure. Sanctions and the human toll. International sanctions, aimed at pressuring North Korea to abandon its nuclear ambitions, have had mixed results. While they've slowed some aspects of the country's weapons development, they've also contributed to widespread hardship among its citizens. The ethical dilemma for the global community is stark. How do you curb a regime's aggressive policies without disproportionately harming its people? Efforts to provide humanitarian aid are often stymied by the North Korean government, which tightly controls access and distribution. The world is left in a difficult position trying to balance sanctions with the moral imperative to alleviate human suffering. Media Narratives and Misinformation the Hwasong-19 has also become a centerpiece of global media coverage, but not all narratives are created equal. State-controlled media in North Korea paints it as a triumph of national pride and self-reliance, while international outlets often focus on the weapon's potential to destabilize global security. However, the sensationalism surrounding hypersonic weapons can sometimes overshadow critical context. For instance, some reports inflate the capabilities of these missiles, creating unnecessary panic and fueling an arms race. North Korea's secretive nature makes it difficult to verify information, leading to speculation that can distort the true scope of the threat. Responsible journalism plays a crucial role in informing public opinion and shaping policy. Balanced reporting, grounded in verified facts, is essential to prevent misinformation from driving fear-based decision-making. Lessons from History The emergence of the Hwasong-19 echoes past moments in history when breakthroughs in military technology reshaped global power dynamics. From the introduction of nuclear weapons in World War II to the arms race of the Cold War, each technological leap has brought both advancements and new dangers. One key lesson is the importance of dialogue, even with adversaries. During the Cold War, Arms control agreements like SALT and START help prevent escalation, despite deep mistrust between the United States and the Soviet Union. While North Korea poses unique challenges, history shows that even limited engagement can reduce risks and build pathways to stability. What can be done? For the international community, strengthen missile defense. While hypersonic weapons are hard to intercept, Advancements in laser technology and satellite tracking could offer new solutions. Revisit arms control treaties. Existing agreements need to be updated to address hypersonic missiles and other emerging technologies. Engage in multilateral diplomacy. A unified approach involving regional players like China, Russia, South Korea, and Japan is essential to address the North Korean threat effectively. For North Korea, balance defense and development. While security is a priority, sustainable development and improved living conditions could stabilize the country in the long term. Open channels for aid. Allowing humanitarian aid with international oversight could ease sanctions and improve relations with the global community. For the global public stay informed. Understanding the complexities of the situation helps avoid knee-jerk reactions and encourages constructive discourse. Advocate for humanitarian solutions. Supporting efforts to alleviate suffering in North Korea without compromising security goals is a moral imperative. The Road Ahead The Hwasong-19 is a symbol of technological ambition, strategic defiance, and geopolitical complexity. Its existence challenges the global community to rethink traditional approaches to security, diplomacy, and ethics. While the risks are significant, so too are the opportunities for innovation and collaboration. Ultimately, the choices made in response to this missile will set the tone for how the world handles the next wave of military advancements. Will it lead to cooperation and stability, or an unchecked arms race with even higher stakes? The answer depends on the ability of nations to navigate this critical moment with foresight, responsibility, and a shared commitment to peace.